So to, to protect my integrity, I'm not going to give my name. And hopefully you're going to use some really cool voice changer because people might know me because of my voice because I am a famous radio personality. I lived in uh, southern Utah in Springdale, right outside of Zion National Park. And uh, this particular story happened when I was 22, so I was new to drinking, and I lived out of my car at the time. I, I camped, uh, and I would occasionally couch surf, but most of the time it was uh, camping in a place called Mosquito Cove. It was down, down by the river. Many people lived in vans like Chris Farley. And I live in a van down by the river. It was the 90s. This was like 1994. When you're living out of your car and you're camping, the places to poop are generally like convenience stores. That's like the top tier. Uh, and then you have like friends' houses that you're visiting, hopefully friends that you know. But the most common place that you poop when you're camping is, is get a stick and try to dig a hole and then kick some sand over it. It's the worst possible place to poop, but we were kind of used to it. So the, the day this happened, I had uh, gotten off of work and was leaving Springdale and was heading towards this uh, Mosquito Cove and uh, stopped, at a, stopped at a gas station to just get a few supplies. The key element that I did get at the gas station was this, it was a type of drink called a hand grenade. It was, it was Mickey's Malt Liquor. Smooth Mickey's Malt Liquor. Just bought one. But just pounded the whole thing because I didn't want to. I did, you know, left the gas station, drank it all, and then threw it away because I didn't want to have open container in my car. So I'm driving. It's like a 10 minutes drive away, and and the, the beer in my stomach was com making me way drunker faster than I was expecting. And I was just like, oh, I, I don't feel very good. I better hurry and get to camp. And I get to camp, and there's people there who don't normally camp there, who are just like, oh, nature, oh, look, rocks and trees, let's take pictures. And I'm like, get out of here. And I'm rushing around trying to find a bush, and there's not a lot of cover in this spot. And it keep bumping into like people who want to chat, stuff like. Hey, Mike, how was work? You want to come smoke a doobie in my van? You want to listen to the latest widespread panic bootleg I got? It's awesome, bro. And, and I'm just like, I gotta get back to you. I gotta take care of some business. I gotta see a man about a horse. And and I could not find a spot where there weren't people. And normally this is a relatively deserted area. And just, and didn't have, sometimes I have an actual little shovel. This literally was trying to dig a hole with a stick. And while I'm bent over trying to dig a hole with a stick, just kaboom. whale spout exploded and of course I'm I'm trying to get my shorts down and people not aren't right next to me but people can totally see that mayhem is happening over there it was so bad it reminded me of those dreams those public humiliation dreams where you go to school and you're and you look down and you're only wearing your underwear because I was like people are seeing me in the in the worst like that anyone could possibly see me if I was alone at, at home I would have been mortified and then I had to do the, the ultimate walk of shame in front of people, which down to the river, just zombie-like, like I was, because I had to clean everything off. Of course, I don't have any soap, and I'm just like, thank God there's millions of gallons of water going past me. And squat, squat down on the river, and I'm, I'm crying, because I'm, I'm half drunk and mortified, and I'm trying to figure out how I can get clean and not get... And it's, uh, how do you clean and not get shit all over your hands when you've got a load of shit in your pants and you need to clean your ass off? You just can't. It's to, you, if you're trying to polish a turd, you get shit on your hands. That was the first and last Mickey's hand grenade I ever drank.